Hello guys, the second video in Android Volley tutorial series. In this video, I am going to show you how to make a simple early cost using Volley. Here we are going to create a simple Android application that make a string request, get a string from server and display the string on a text view. So before going to create the Android application, we need to set up a server. So here I am going to using a local host. Here I already installed WAMP server, so I have to start WAMP server. So here the green icon indicates that WAMP server is now ready. So first thing we have to create a simple PHP script. So I open my favorite text editor. Uh, change language into PHP first here I am going to save this file save us uh, I save it on desktop with file name uh, greetings dot PHP save it uh, now create some simple PHP script Uh, just print some message hello from server ok now save this file again save it again now this file available on desktop now I copy this file Go to the Windows directory. Go to the installation folder of WAMP server. Go to the public directory of the server. And put that file here. Okay, now the file available inside the WAMP server. Before going to use that file, we can test that file. So open your browser. And type localhost. And our file name is greetings.php. Yeah, it simply give a string hello from server. So the file is working fine. Now we can create our Android application. So open Android Studio. Uh, start a new Android Studio project. Uh, specify application name. I name it as Voli Demo. Uh, click Next. Click Next. Select an empty activity. Click Next. And click Finish. Okay, now the project is ready. So this application needs to download some data from a remote server. So first we need to specify the internet permission. So open manifest folder. Open Android manifest.xml and you have to specify the permission for access the internet. Use as permission and specify the internet permission. close this file so here now first thing we need to add the external library for volume so you need to add a dependency open your gradle script file now you need to add the needed dependency for volume okay so now make a project sync.
Okay, now the project sync finishes. Now we successfully add Foley library to our Android application. Now close this one. And now go to activity main.xml. There is no need of this text view. I remove that one. So first here I am going to add a large text view to display the response from server. So here I put a large text view. Now to get the response we need a button. So I add a button. Now change the text into server response and change the ID of the text view into txt. Yes, we need to change all these things. Now change the button text into get server data. and change the ID of the button into BN. Okay, now go to main activity dot Java. First here we need to declare some variables. First declare a variable for button. I name it as button. Now declare a variable for text view. I name it as text view. First we need to initialize these variables. First, so first I am going to initialize the button variable. Type cast that one into button. Now find it. Now initialize the te second variable text view. Type cast that one into text view. Now find it. Okay. So now we have to specify the URL. We have to specify the server URL. So create a string variable string. Uh, server URL. So now here our server is the local host and here I use a Jenny motion virtual device. So for get the local host we have to know the IP address of this computer. So open your command prompt and type IP config. and search for your IPv4 address. Here is my IPv4 address 192.68.56.1 So HTTP colon 192.168.56.1 yeah, it is 56.1. And our file name is greetings.php. Okay, before going to use this URL with the Android application, we can check whether this URL is valid or not. So copy this URL, open your browser and put it on the address bar. Yeah, this is the response from server. So this URL is working fine. Okay. So now we have to specify some click listener for the button. So button dot set on click listener. Okay, so whenever user click the button, we have to get the data from server and display the data on the text view. So in order to use Volley, first thing you have to specify a request queue. Then you have to create your request and send that request queue to the send that request to the request queue. So here is a simple string request. So first thing we have to create a request queue. 
So here I am going to use a convenience method called new request queue. So this method will initialize the request queue with all the default values and it automatically start the request queue. So here it is a simple string request. So you can use the volley library method called new request queue. So first we have to specify the request queue. I name the variable as a request queue and use the volley convenience method called the new request queue and specify the context. So here we need this request queue only for this activity. So main activity dot this. Okay, so this is our request queue. Now we have to specify, we have to create the string request. Here we need a string from the server. So here the request type is string request. So start a new string request. I name it as string request. Is equal to new string request. So the first argument is the method type, the HTTP method type. So here I'm going to use the post type. So request dot method. And here the method is post. Second argument, you have to specify the URL, server URL. Here it is available on this variable called the server URL. Now the third argument, you have to specify a response listener. So the third URL is a response listener. And the last argument is an error listener. Okay, so here we have two listeners. First one is for the response and second one is for the error. The server response will get this get in this method called on response. If there is some error happens, if there is some exceptions, we'll, we will get that error on this method called on error response. So we get the server response from this variable called the string response. So we have to display the server response on the text view. So text view dot set to text and here the response and after get the response we can close the request queue we can stop the request queue so request queue dot stop if there is some error happens we can display the error on the text view so text view dot set to text something went wrong and print the stack trace here also we can stop the request queue Okay, so now the string request is ready. Now we need to add the string request to the request queue. So after this one, we have to add the request to the request queue. So request queue dot add and here it is a string request. Okay, now we finish the coding. Now here I am going to test this application on a journey motion virtual device. So start a journey motion virtual device. Okay, now the virtual device is ready. Now we can run the application, run it. Select the virtual device. Okay, now the application available on this virtual device. So when we click this button, we have to get the server response within this text view. So I click the button. Here is the response from server.
So this is how we make a simple request using Volley. I hope you understand the concepts. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.